24 years old now, 45 in the world. Sparkly shot from McIntyre. He's got all the shots, left to right, right to left, whatever it wants. Well done. Excellent start from the young Scott. Hitting the driver to get past the bunkers down the left, McIntyre. Leaked it a bit too far. It's over the bunker. It's over the bunker there. I think he's gone. So he needs some luck. I think he's far enough back there to have a shot. There's McIntyre from the rough down the left side. Yeah, he had a gap. Uh, pretty good coming out of the rough there. Very wide stance for McIntyre. Wow. That's a pretty good start. 3-3. Three, three. That's not bad, isn't it? That's, that's, that's the way it's designed. That's when the curtains get you know, get separated in the morning. And that's the kind of thing you're hoping for. And now he goes to a par five. TV tail trying to bleed it towards the pin. That's a popular spot, Andy. It really is. We've seen a tremendous amount. Of course, that they're playing against coming up short in the water or in the bunker. Very nice touch there from McIntyre. We'd all but given McIntyre that one, and well, we we wasted time showing that. That was always going to go in right in the middle. Three birdies in a row for the young left-hander to start his second round. He climbs within three of the lead of Richard Bland. McIntyre with the big stick here at four. It's wide down there to move the tee up here today, so they've dwarfed this hole to a drive and a wedge. Oh, right in the middle. Great chance of starting ah. with four birdies. He pulled it. It's not disastrous, but he pulled it nevertheless. So he'll have that to start his second round with four birdies in a row. You fancy his chances. Oh, what a that. What a stroke as well. I mean, that was just firm, absolutely beautiful. Right pace it went in as well. The wind's out of his left, so we can hold this up. this next one and he joins that streak McIntyre for birdie oh five on the spin this game is actually quite easy really <laughs> You aim at the fairway, yeah. aim at the green, aim at the hole. What's difficult? Amazing, isn't it? Even he's finding it quite amazing now. So you would think this is where the birdie barrage comes to a halt. There's no letting up off the <sighs> tee, but... It was committed, you got to see that. Yeah, he tried to play the right to left fade, didn't he? But it uh, didn't come off. Ah, 
Absolutely beautiful for line. How's it for length? Oh, very nearly. Very nearly. It's not bad from there, though. It's just going to ease down a little slope there. Uphill left to right, and then it wants to straighten. I think Richard would be more than happy to two putt it. Five's a good score there. He hasn't made a par yet. No, he hasn't had a par. No, five birdies, one drop shot. just okay it's such a tough par three today he's a chance of canning this just popped and shot on him a little that'll leave an awkward part that surprised him and me we know how good he is from this length it is left to right so it's a hooky putt for him but this is difficult. So you can see Odyssey putting stats, strokes gained putting for this group. And that, as Wayne said, was a bit uh, bumpy right there, so not a surprise miss. Per annua, when you put on that and, and they're at good speed like these ones are, it doesn't matter where you're playing, whether it be Torrey Pines or at the Belfry, when they get a little soft and in the afternoons with the feet on them, they get really awkward because you've just got to set it on its way and it wobbles and bubbles its way down there. Such a good looking swing through impact, so free. And a great result for the lefty, Robert McIntyre. Top ranked left hander in the world, as Andrew Coltart talked about at the top of the show. We saw Robert McIntyre hold some beautiful putts the first five holes. Being five under after five, and the hole has healed up, so it's time for him to can one. He is well overdue. And can it? He does. Robert McIntyre, excellent two at the 14th. What a start that was. Look at that. Five birdies in the first five. Just aiming at our TV tower behind it. Right where he wanted to hit it. What a shot. Gee whiz, this boy can play. Totally in control, especially off the tee and with this putter. The game isn't hard when you drive it. 310 every hole and putt like Harry Houdini. One thing I noticed is about the way he plays is that there's certainly no back away from things at the end. He's not scared to go deep. He's not scared to risk making a mistake, making himself look rash or silly in the pursuit of excellence, trying to claim the win. Absolutely right. He backs himself all the time in any situation. McIntyre, he's not going to back off. He's going to keep going at it. It's the modern way. He'll fancy this T-shirt. Right. Very sharp. Yeah. Very good. Oh, he doesn't want that one back. What a stunner. And straight up the left. Close and cruise. Just middle of the street. Yeah, like this. Perfect, just what he was trying to do. Wonderful shot, long iron in there for Robert McIntyre. Great shot him from McIntyre. Can he finish it off? To get into a tie for second. 
Uh, he has done. He's found it. Robert McIntyre ties Richard Bland in second place at seven under par. Wonderful 66 out in 32. Wonderful birdie birdie finish to be back in 34. He's in there one shot behind his compatriot. Robert, the round got off to an incredible start with five birdies in a row. It ended in 66. Just give us your reflections on it, please. It's one of them days when you start off and you everything you look at goes in. Um, it's exactly where we're aiming at. So it's just good to, to see the work um, that I've been putting in on the pattern finally or continuing to, to perform. Tell us about that work. Um, so I started working with Graham um, kind of middle of last year and I just was getting into bad habits and I mean he just keeps drilling it into me, just trust what you're doing, everything we've done. I mean it's pretty simple, just gives me basic things to work on and then I just trust it. I wanted to ask you about something that was close to our hearts. We lost one of the great journalists of the European Tour, Jock McVicker, recently, and I know that you made a two-hour round trip to just be outside of his funeral, not going to make yeah. it about you, but you wanted to be there and pay your respects. Why was that so important to you? I mean, it's just the way I'm brought up. I, I got on great with Jock. Every time he phoned me, he'd, we'd chat for a good ten minutes and just general chit-chat, how's life and stuff. But, I mean, no matter how far I had to travel, I was going to be there for Jock. Um, more so that he was from my area, uh, our guy old man, so, I mean, it's just something out of respect that I felt I had to do. You've shown your class on the golf course many times, that showed your class off the golf course, well done. Cheers, thanks. thanks. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.